nowadays uh, this is mukesh marsan rajaraj sri medical college uh, so first uh, sir rajaraj sri medical college sir bangalore okay okay yeah sir as you are asking that which teaching method you say first of all we as we are saying okay adanal adala na concentrate panitana hello yeah yeah sir first of all we are also we are using the traditional methods also like uh, ppt presentation is there mm-hmm. then uh, we also make the videos videos on mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. process sir, like soft clips like videos and all we do and uh, uh, sometimes madam uh, please, like please, 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 uh, please keep your microphone off madam <laughs> and uh, we are making sir soft uh, small videos also video clips also so it will be available all the time it will be available for the students so mm-hmm. like uh, e learning process uh, we are making sir okay okay uh, that is also one thing and uh, sometimes the classes also it will be a recorded classes so the students they can uh, see recorded classes okay so students okay. they can see whenever they want to see they can go to the library they can easily accessible okay right no uh, my slides are not uh, visible probably uh, is it visible now yes sir slides are yes okay yes uh, the national education te- uh, policy is telling that we have to uh, conduct the classes virtually that means virtually classes can be conducted if ict is used suppose uh, for if we are teaching for adults as i told you that it is not only talking about uh, only uh, this one uh, what is that uh, school education it is talking about national education is, is also talking about other education in adult education also it is saying that in school and libraries uh, this ict has to be used i am giving you a general perspective what ict is saying please keep your microphone off all the people apps which can be used for educational purposes are online courses can be used sumi or somebody has kept the microphone on please keep your microphone off can you please switch off the microphone please leave a message to everybody to switch off the microphone apps like online courses modules satellite based tv channels online books and ict equipped libraries has to be made available for adult education existing digital platforms and ongoing ict based education initiatives have to be strengthened and next is uh, it is saying that two important chapters are being uh, dedicated one for technology use and integration another chapter which is talking about online and digital education is also saying that ensuring equitable use of technology let us go to uh, these chapters and look into what these chapters are saying uh see assistive technological devices also uh, are being emphasized like assistive technological devices in the sense text to uh, voice the material which can be used uh, as a voice for blind people those uh, who are hard of hearing can hear the content at louder voice assistive devices and those who are unable to read can get a print in a braille format and read the textbook braille printers can be supplied so it is t- telling that such devices have to be identified and uh, used and for parents orientation has to be given uh, parents and caregivers how to use this appropriate technology has to be used for each children uh, special children ensure efficiency and transparency in use of uh, efficient if you want to make your school or university efficient 
and transparent, you can make use of technology. Higher educational tech, uh, institutes, it is saying that technology development centers have to be created in all HEIs. Provide uh, suitable resources and infrastructure. If you create these uh, centers, then suitable resources can be uh, given. Classroom shall be uh, shall have access to the latest educational technology. This is what it is saying. Then steps to be taken. Uh, clearly, national education policy is saying that it is the state government and the uh, central government. They have to take steps for implementation of technology and use of technology for platforms like Swayam, Diksha. Uh, we are all training uh, teacher uh, platforms also uh, can be made available. Then uh, make use of internet and other technology for adult education, it is saying. Then apps like online courses, modules, satellite-based technology, uh, technology channel, online books, and ICT-equipped libraries and adult education centers have to be created. Further, uh, the NEP 2020 says that influence of technology is found in all human endeavors. All human endeavors, whether uh, we are uh, talking about uh, sociology, which is studying about uh, to, uh, the society, or uh, economics, which is uh, studying about or economic uh, aspects. All these aspects, uh, technology is influencing. And hence, technology has to be integrated to all the all the disciplines. IITI have to make use of translation and interpretation efforts. Uh, uh, technology is now going to be a crowdsourcing, and everybody funds everybody's fund will be utilized for technology integration in uh, education. Uh, technology use and integration. Further, it says that Digital India campaign is being implemented and we want to become a global leader. That is why uh, specifically uh, we have to work for technology integration. Earlier, I had told you that technology is at the center and teaching learning is revolving around it. No, that cannot be case now. Technology has to be Technology has to affect uh, teaching learning and teaching learning in turn has to affect technology. So it is it has to be a bi-directional thing, the relationship. New technology involves, there are various new technologies are emerging. See, 2020, it is talking about artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, smart boards, handheld computing devices, adaptive computer testing, for students and other forms of educational softwares and hardwares will not just change the students, the what students learn in the classroom, but the, how they are going to learn also, it is going to affect. Uh, now, specific uh, NEP observation further continuing with this, as I told you that uh, it is proposed to have a national educational technology forum which is going to be an autonomous body, uh, which will have specifically laid down functions to be done, use of technology to enhance learning, assessment, planning, administration, and so on, both for school and higher education, it is going to look into. The, the thrust uh, of technological intervention will be for improving teaching learning, evaluation process, supporting teacher preparation, professional development, enhancing educational access, and streamlining, uh, streamlining educational planning, management, and administration, including process related to admission, attendance, assessment, etc. That is That means all aspects of education uh, technology is going to affect, and thrust of educational technolo technological intervention has to be there. A uh, rich variety of educational software has have to be provided in all major Indian languages. Uh, in addition to that, Diksha and Swam will be utilized for educational purposes and rating will be done. Like today we uh, rate Zomato, uh, Zepto, 
uh, then uh, uh, all taxi uh, apps etc we read based on that the validity and the authenticity will be established similarly rating will be done reviews will be done by the users that is how each program will be evaluated emerging disruptive technology earlier we never thought that there will be any disruption in education education is a continuous process but during lockdown and uh, covid 19 uh, effect we saw that schools were put off shut down and we started using new technologies artificial intelligence uh, then 3d 7d virtual reality these new things have emerged Uh, we talk of 1986 and 92 policy the previous policy these things were not mentioned and the days have changed technology has changed development has occurred that is why technology has to be utilized and therefore there is a need for skilling and deskilling earlier whatever teach now even imagine of a bed program of a, or a teacher education program we give them impart them some skills those skills have to be learned and de-learn and relearn skilling and de-skilling has to be done and new skills have to be uh, learned phd pro master degree programs have to be done in new technology the technology has to be integrated then data is a key fuel for ai based technology as you know all our activities are being monitored by google each moment is collected how many steps we make what we eat where we go where we sit uh, what we refer on the online data is a fuel a uh, key fuel for artificial intelligence technology but in such a scenario privacy laws and standards associated with data handling and data protections are to be cleared for all our students and even teachers so this is an important thing a good teacher in a traditional classroom will automatically be a good teacher in an online classroom this is a myth this is not truth a good teacher in the classroom is different and good teacher in an online classroom is a different so now good teacher in the classroom has to be made a good teacher in the online uh, classroom this uh, for this purpose training uh, in use of technology has to be given online education has to be blended now not that only online education or not only the face to face education will suffice both have to be integrated pilot that is why pilot studies have to be done like students are getting addicted to devices student device addiction can be studied most preferred formats of e content which are most preferred formats that have to be studied and netf is going to study all that and give the studies uh, reports in the public domain digital infrastructure technology has to be used that is why policy says digital infrastructure has to be created open ir inter interoperable interoperable evolvable public digital infrastructure has to be given online teaching platforms and tools like swayam diksha monitoring the progress of the learner content creation digital repository and dissemination digital repository gamification of indian art and culture in multiple languages can be created and addressing the digital divide and if there is a digital divide there is a difference between have and have nots then new technology can be uh, old technology can be used we can make use of television radio or community radio uh, for teaching purposes uh, there should not be a gap between haves and have nots virtual labs have to be created like uh, through diksha swayam or samprabha if uh, in addition to that tablets can be provided to the children uh, with pre loaded content training or an incentive of uh, for teachers have to be given online and assessment and examination is also a crucial thing the nep says that national assessment center or parak school board mta etc have to work in, into this area i have told you regarding blended model of learning laying down uh, standards finally 
the policy says that technology in education is a journey and not a destination and capacity will be needed to orchestrate the various ecosystem players to implement policy objectives a dedicated unit for the purpose of orchestrating the building of digital infrastructure digital content and capacity building will be created by the ministry to look into e education needs of both school and higher education since technology is rapidly evolving and need specialists to deliver high quality e learning a vibrant ecosystem has to be encouraged to create uh, solutions that not only uh, solve india's challenges of scale diversity and equity but also evolve uh, in keeping with the rapid changes in technology whose half life reduces with each passing year this center will therefore consist of experts drawn from the field of administration education educational technology digital pedagogy and assessment this is the final concluding paragraph uh, of uh, regarding uh, uh, the forum which is proposed here so i think uh, we are on the verge of closure so i talk to you about uh, the different things i talk to you about teaching and learning i talk to you about information yes. communication technology i told you about uses of computer i told you about various apps which you are using in your mobile and i told you what are the different apps which are available for science mathematics and uh, a, a language teaching as well as finally i gave you some important idea what uh, uh, nep is talking about national uh, uh, technology and information communication technology probably uh, yeah, i thought that this is three hour session so i had kept some activities which i wanted to show you uh, probably time is not there so i am going to my final slide yes please organizers can take uh, or any question or query can be asked or any observation nagraj sir hello you are not audible ah, sir yes sir yes sir tell me sir tell me sir my question is uh, your voice is not clear sir but you can tell yeah uh, can you just uh, tell me about the uh, artificial intelligence Is there any? I mean, uh, uh, so, uh, the teacher is going to be replaced by a technology. But no, no, sir. Teacher cannot be replaced. Uh, teacher cannot be replaced by any means. Uh, see, uh, you tell me there are different modes of travel. Yeah. there is walking walking is one way to go from place to place cycling car bus then uh, aeroplane or many modes yes. but it is the person who goes from one place to another not the vehicle vehicle is only a mode yes. so teacher cannot be replaced technology is going to be a vehicle uh, so that we can reach our objectives artificial intelligence tools like uh, pardon sir i'm not i'm not saying anything sir three artificial intelligence tools i can make uh, list you yeah. uh, you make use of chat gpt yes, you sir. can make use of bard google bard you can make use of microsoft copilot these are useful you ask any question if you know small thing it will give you a larger information huge information 
but you should know a little bit to understand more. Okay. Uh, artificial intelligence is going to assess the teacher. Uh, yeah, artificial intelligence is going to assess the teachers. Yes, possible. Possible. Help the teacher. Uh, assist the teacher. Uh, assist the teachers as well as assist the teachers also. Possible. Both are possible. That is why the NEPF, National Educational Technology Forum, has been given a task to identify latest technologies. Latest technologies uh, of the uh, that particular time and suggest the government what can be utilized in for educational purposes. That is also a general objective given to uh, NATF. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was pleasure. Yeah, UGC, MMTTC. UGC, MMTTC, Hyderabad. Sir, am I audible? Nagarabad, sir. Yeah, you are now audible. Sir, sir, sir just left uh, for a faculty meeting. Yes, sir. This is Sunit here, sir. Uh, we know, uh, we know, uh, shall I close? Uh, yes, sir. Thank uh, you. Thank I, you very much for I'm your time. Sir, thank yeah. you very much thank for your time and your interesting lecture as usual. So, I am, <laughs> I, am I already know about your session. No, now, participants are, are habituated with this. Thank you.